Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another creative only design for a bit of fun. This is the minor bobcat, which you can see wobbling around right behind me. So I've moved my character out of the way, there we go. This thing is a very small mining vehicle that utilizes a script to be able to move the modded drills at the front up and down and to change the angle. And I'll go and show you that right now before we have a look around the outside so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I can come into this seat, I'm going to put on the parking brake, hopefully it'll stop wobbling around, come into the free camera, I can now lift this up, there we go, I can now move it down, and then I can change the angle of the drills and the front there to get exactly where I want to go, and there we go with that. So pressing F10 and finding this in the spawn menu, the minor bobcat is 268 small blocks, using the sparks of the future and wasteland DLC packs. We've got a little bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, such as the mod it's using for the drills at the front, which is the small wheel bucket excavator, and of course the controls to be able to move this thing up and down. So we give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll drive around for a bit, test it out, and that'll be that. So at the very front, this is what we get, and do excuse the wobbling, I'm not too sure how to stop that. <laughs> there comes some rocks in the distance from where I've been testing it out before I start recording. Anyway, at the very front, what we've got is our two small bucket wheel excavators with an ejector in the middle. This has all been surrounded by some lovely armoured panels. We've got some lovely use of our hazard skin block on the top there to make sure you're not going to accidentally lean on this and get hurt. If you move up just a little bit, that is what we can see. So we've got our rover cockpit, a bunch of spotlights, and we can see a secondary ejector just to help get rid of all the stuff it's collecting. There's our two hinges to move this bit up and down and it goes onto some steel blocks, onto some more armoured panels, onto this white rim along the side here, that goes round towards the very back, we've got another set of hinges, that's how we're going to lift it all the way up, and all the way down to how it was. As for the side itself, that is all we can see, so we've got some lovely orangey red wheels, and we can see the black of where it's surrounding all the cockpits. We've got again some fantastic use of our neon tubes going around the outside, adding this little handlebar to grab hold of, then round towards the very back here, some more orangey blocks, a atmospheric thrust to help move this thing around, some more spotlights acting as brake lights, they're moving all the way up and above and looking down, can't really see too much, but there are three gyroscopes, some barbed window blocks right above it, they're going towards the front there, there's a clear view of the ejector, and our two hinges. If we were to come in front of our cockpit, where we're going to drive it around, we've got another atmospheric thruster to help slow this thing down, some blaster edge blocks for good measure, just in case you get a bit over zealous and start to charge into stuff, and on the inside, there we go, we've got a little bit of armoured panels on the side, and we can see a couple of batteries below our feet. Dropping down and coming underneath it, that is all we can see, and that's pretty much it for the outside, the minor bobcat. So it looks bloody fantastic with how it's all been set up, and it is a lot of fun to use, I love it when drills set up this kind of design, we've got alternative controls than just pressing a button on the 1, 2, 3, 4, lift it up and down and then change it all around. So the way this thing works is that it's gyroscope controlled. If it was to turn it left or right with the keyboard, it's not going to work. So the three gyroscopes and the back there are going to need to be set up for personal preference, because that's how we're going to turn this thing all the way around. So driving around, this is what we get. I am going to lift the bucket at the front slightly up. We are a very slow vehicle, but that does suit what this thing is trying to portray. If we were to come to a stop, I'm going to angle this all the way down. There we are, and I'm going to start the drill. And there we go, just acts like a regular drill, we use our left mouse button to collect up the stone, we use our right mouse button to make a big hole, and I'm going to reverse up because it is starting to tip down. But we can see it ejecting out all the stone it collected, and now what I'm going to do is lift that bucket all the way up, slightly higher, we'll come up to this mountainside, drill into that, and that'll be that for this video. So all the way up to it, I'm hoping the brakes are going to be good enough to stop this thing, and I'm hoping we've got enough thrusters to be able to get all the way up to it, we are starting to slow down as we go up and up and up, so it is a very good thing that we have that thruster on the front. Here we go, we're going at about 3 meters per second, 2 meters per second, I don't know if it's going to be able to get all the way up to this, but here we go. Oh, looks like we're starting to reach 2, I'm starting to see 1, we are starting to slip, can I put the brakes on, will that stop it? Not sure it's going to, so we're going to have to just come over to this side over here, a little bit disappointing. Look at us, go. we've got a nice little speed coming down here. So for the moment, we'll just use this section over here. And in first person view, this is what it looks like when we move it up and down. There we go. And raising it up. Raising it down. 
raising it down. What am I talking about? Lowering it down. So I'm going to come up to this section, third person view, angling that down. And now I'm going to make a very big hole. I'm not going to collect it. There we go. I'm going to drop that down. And we're going to start to move forward. Now I'm going to angle this slightly forwards, raise up just a little bit because I'm going to start to make a tunnel. There we go. Try the thing slightly into it. Change the angle once again. Start moving forwards. And there we go. I'm now drilling out this little hole. Make it a little base in here. Make a little road. Or even just a defensive structure. And that's pretty much it for the Bobcat Miner. Or the Miner Bobcat has to offer. It's a lovely little thing to play around with. Once again, it is designed for creative mode. So it's not going to serve you too well in survival. But it is a bit of fun to use. Especially with the controls at the front there. To lift it up and down. As you change the angle. So there'll be a link to it in the description below. If you do wish to download it and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do. Because it is a bit of fun. I'll be back with another video. Somewhere soon. Bye bye.